Should this be the um the photo? What's up, YouTubers? What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, thank you for joining me. Today I am doing a ideal duo look using the Dose of Colors Disco Ideal Duo Shadows. Um, super easy, like one-stop shop if you're trying to you do a glam look and you don't want to buy glitter and glitter glue and eyeshadow and everything, like buy this. It is so good. They have like 50 colors. I'm really going to buy another one today. I feel like today I'm going to buy another one. Okay, don't, don't be mad if I actually do, okay? Um, let's get into the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. We have a sty. Ah, it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Does anybody know of a way to prevent styes or no? Because it hurts. Let's go ahead and prime those eyelids. What is this? Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Ow, this hurts so bad, y'all. Should I do this? I feel like it's better if I wear makeup and I have a sty because then I won't touch it. If I don't wear makeup, I'm gonna like be touching my eye the whole day and I'll probably make it worse. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm gonna set that with a little China wet from the Beauty Killer palette. Y'all, I hit pan on this. I'm kind of scared about what I'm going to do whenever I run out. What am I going to do? I'm a little bit scared. Alright, from here I'm going to dip into Courtney and I'm using a Morphe E30 brush. Courtney is just... Don't judge me by this palette. Oh, Courtney is this nice um, warm tone transition color. It's my favorite transition color ever, and I don't know what I'm going to do when I hit pan on that. Guess I'm going to, like, buy a new Beauty Killer palette. Although I don't see myself hitting pan on any of the other colors, so... That would probably be wasteful. Ma, ma. Alright, Dose of Colors has these little I D Is this called an uh, Ideal Duo? Oh, I get it. Like it's ideal but it's spelled ideal so I have this one in the color disco it comes with a little cream on the top cream on the inside cream on the outside ice cream paint job it always comes into my life you know always and then it has if you open it up I'm scared to do this I'm scared to do this it has glitter Woo! on the inside loose pigment so close that up really quick so I'm gonna just take my finger into the cream and I'm just gonna run that all over my lid my lid already looks like a disco ball with this this is by far the easiest look to do and it looks like really hard you know what I mean one of those kind of looks now I'm gonna take that same finger oh my gosh it's so stressful and I'm going to open up the bottom I'm just gonna dab it into the glitter and then I'm going to put the glitter onto the lid like the such as. Yes, if the edges are a little rough, we'll come back. Okay? We'll come back. Don't be scared. And I'm going to rinse and repeat on the other side. I really feel like buying this in other colors, but it's like $20. Although it's kind of worth it. You get a lot of product. It's basically like buying two product. You know what I'm saying? Because I could do one without the other. I mean, I never do, but... Alright, now I'm going to go back in with Courtney and that E30 brush. And I'm just going to run it right over that crease just so that it kind of cleans it up a little bit. Kind of blends it in so it's not like glitter than like crease color. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's do my eyebrows while I'm here, okay? Okay! Y'all, the best thing about Jeffree Star highlights, this big old mirror. 
Like, I could do my whole face with this mirror. Even though my hands are really shaky right now. I'm just filling in my brows with a little cabrow. Yo, whenever I see my eyebrows up close on here, I'm like, eh. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours! Alright, also while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and highlight those brows with a little bit of concealer. This is one of my favorite makeup tricks ever because it makes such a difference. Sometimes I don't think it makes a difference, but then really it does. It does make a difference. So I just take a little bit of concealer. Just kind of carve out those eyebrows really well. I'm just going to put it right underneath the eyebrows and blend it out. See? See the difference? Makes a difference. Like you need the tiniest amount of concealer. Concentrate! I'm going to set that with a little China White from the Beauty Killer palette, just a little bit on that brow. Yes, honey. And then I'm going to go back into Courtney just to blend it out again with that E30 brush. There we go. There we go. Alright. Now time for the face. I'm going to zoom you out. Zoom you out. Right now. Can you see me? Can you see me? Clap once. Can you see me clap twice? Alright, I'm going to prime my face with a little Urban Decay. I mean, why do I always, I automatically say Urban Decay for everything. Like, this is Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. Not Urban Decay. So weird. Such a weird habit. Alright, I'm going to spray my face with a little Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This stuff smells like garlic bread. Like, I don't care who you are. That for sure has some kind of herbs in it. It smells like garlic bread. Y'all, trying to drink that smoothie is a freaking beating, man. Now, I'm going to make a little foundation cocktail. I'm going to use 202 which is a little too yellow for me. I'm using the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And I'm using 201, which is a little too pink for me. So thanks a lot, L'Oreal, for creating a color, for creating colors that don't match me. Ugh, oh, gotta wet my beauty blender. All right, I'm by it. All right, wet my beauty blender. Now I'm just gonna stipple this all over my face. Okay, okay. I think it's time for me to buy a new beauty blender. Does this happen to anybody else? Like, my beauty blender, whenever I start putting, like, powders on it and foundations, it, like, gets, like, caked up, you know? And then I try and wash it off, and, like, it never... It never washes off, like... Like it used to be, you know? Yo, the other day... Really make sure you get that jawline. You know what I'm saying? The other day, you know, I did my makeup inside, like I always do, because I live inside. Surprise, I know. And I like went to look at myself in the little car mirror and I like flipped it down and I was like, <laughs> because I was just wearing the foundation 202 and inside, on pictures, on camera, on everything, it looks so nice. It matches my skin color. And then I went outside, and I was like, ochre! Not my skin color. Definitely not my skin color. Well, honestly, it actually is my skin color. It's not my skin tone. It's like really, really yellow. And so then I was like, well, 
you better rock this yellow foundation for the rest of the day. And so I did. Okay, we're using a little shape tip. Just gonna blend that nicely into the face. All right, don't blend off your eyebrows now. All right, I'm gonna use a little loose setting powder. Translucent from Laura Mercier. All right, I'm gonna use my beauty blender. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. It's my late alarm, people. Put a little bit of that under my eyes. Y'all, when people tell me that their alarms don't go off, I don't think that that happens. I'm not going to say that that never happens, okay? I'm not going to say that that never happens. But I'm going to say that like 99.97% of times, you don't hear your alarm. Am I right? Like, I'm over here like, my alarm ain't never not going off. And if it did, that would be a really nice excuse not to do things. Just saying. There's something in my nose. I always blend off my eyebrows. You know? I got translucent powder on my shirt. Got translucent powder on my chair. It's everywhere. Alright, next I'm going to use a little Makeup Geek Contour Powder. And I'm using this fat Morphe E42 brush. And I'm just going to buff that into my cheekbones. On both sides. I'm going to run that along my chin also. Y'all, Makeup Geek makeup is bomb.com, but it comes in single pans. And so I bought this Z palette from zpalette.com. Um, and it has, let me open it. It has magnetic, um, it's a magnetic bottom. Oh, I can't get it out. Get it out. Oh, shoot. It has mag a magnetic bottom. Mine's really dirty. And so you can just stick your um, makeup on here. And I'm probably going to buy some more eyeshadows in the near future. Mine's so dirty. Don't judge me, okay? Actually, I don't care. Um, it's so... It, this is so nice. Like, I'm, I'm about to stock up, people. From here, I am going to use Morphe in nine palette and I'm just using a really peachy blush on the apples of my cheeks I'm using the first two colors I'll show you hold on hold on and I'm just gonna kind of run that on the side of my nose just to kind of give my nose a little bit of color and on my forehead I'm using these two colors Achoo. nice and on those apples of those cheeks I am going to highlight now. What's on my nose? What the freak? There's a, like a brown splotch on my nose. I'm gonna go into the Jeffree Star and Manny MUA highlighter. This is in the color Eclipse. This does, to me, have a lot of f like fallout, flyaways. I don't know what you wanna call it. Whenever I put it on, it's like, which doesn't really bother me, but. I would rather that product be like going on my face instead of in the room. Yo, I've talked about this highlight before. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Um, I, for a while, thought that it was like not good. And then I was like, give it a second chance. You know, give it a second chance. And now I'm like, dang, son! It is like for real pigmented, like top notch. And I'm putting it everywhere. I'm using the Morphe M501 brush for highlight because it's the best. I'm drinking a smoothie blackberry raspberry yogurt berry. Imaginary muffin. Does anybody remember that video? That was seriously, I'm for sure that that was my first YouTube video I've ever seen in my entire life and I was like six. Anyways, this smoothie. I'm not going to tell you to drink it because it's good. Because it's not. <clears throat> but it is healthy. So if you're trying to get healthy, get you some of that, son. Alright, from here, I'm going to take a Morphe M410 brush. And I'm going to go into Courtney, the color we use on our crease. And I'm just going to run that underneath my eye. Let me make sure there's not anything on here. Okay. I'm just going to run that underneath my eye just to give it a little bit of definition. Kind of make it cohesive, you know. 
Make sure that top and bottom match each other. Perfect. You're a star. You're gonna be on Broadway. Now I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just gonna do tops today. I'm feeling, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to clean up my contour real quick. My cheekbones. I'm using a little RCMA powder. Yes, this is a mess. And I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath where I contour, where I bronzed, just to make it look a little cleaner. I feel like I look more professional when I do this. Now I have all of this in the lid and I need to get it back in here. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Now it's raining. Oh jeez. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. We can bounce back. We can bounce back from that. All right, now I'm just gonna wait a minute, okay? Okay, don't rush me. I'm just gonna wait, okay? Did the Spurs win something last night? Am I behind? All over my social media is like, Spurs, go Spurs, go! Go Spurs, go! Sorry, I don't keep up with uh, basketball. I didn't know they were like in the playoffs though, right? I feel like people are gonna watch this and be like, wow, you're an idiot. All right, I'm using M438 brush and I'm just gonna dust off the bake really quick. I got some in my mouth. I'm gonna spray my face with a little MAC Fix Plus before I do mascara. MAC Fix, Mac Fix Plus is still and always be will be my favorite setting spray. You know, I tried all nighter, I tried Urban Decay, I tried all those, but not doing it for me. Not doing it for me. It's in my hair. I whip my hair back and forth. All right, I have powder on my shirt. Now I have Fix Plus. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I like to spray my face before mascara because I guess I blink really hard and I get mascara on my face whenever I spray it. There are seagulls outside. I must live at the beach. There's a snake in my boot. Oh my gosh, I have RCMA powder everywhere. Ah! I'm not putting mascara on the bottom because it always gets on my face because I have a weird shaped face. I don't know. Yo, have you ever used this Morphe brush cleaner? I'm about to do a little demo for you. You just spray it on there. It says it's a disinfectant, but I don't, it's not like a deep clean, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't substitute cleaning your brushes with this, but it does take color away. So then you just rub it on the tissue. Check it out, people. Just rub it on that tissue. So I had a bright freaking orange color on here. And just keep rubbing it. And then bam. Can you see me? No color. All right, from here, I am going to put on some eyelashes. Actually, I'm gonna put on some eyelashes. Yep, I'm put on some eyelashes. These are the Double Up Ardell Demi Wispies. So it looks like this. It says Double Up, Double Up, son. Now I'm just gonna glue those bad boys on, okay? Wait, I wonder if this has like sty juices on it from yesterday. Does that mean I shouldn't use it again? Like, is this like a pink eye situation? Like where you should like throw away all your stuff? No. Just gonna go ahead and let you know I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I just need to sit like this for a minute. Now I'm gonna do a little lips. I am going to use the Dose of Colors lipstick, the pink one, the one that I don't know the name of. I feel like this is the color of my lips, just like enhanced. All right, this is the finished makeup look. It's super easy. Um, it's super wearable. Like, I would wear this every day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's 
getting worse, man. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.